Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Adam with another screencast, and this screencast is very, very interesting because this is about iBeacons. iBeacon is basically a proximity-based indoor GPS. So you have outdoor GPS, which, which will tell you that how you can go from point A to point B over a long distance or a short distance, but iBeacon is usually for indoors or close proximity. So consider a scenario where you are inside a mall and you need to get to a certain location inside the mall. And then when you step into the certain location using the iBeacon, the mall will know that you have arrived and they will push out some discount coupons onto your phone and, and you can enjoy the discount. Another great example that Rene Ritchie actually gave in the Twitch network, in the Twitch show, is uh, a person uh, placed a iBeacon physical device into or iBeacon enabled physical device into their luggage and uh, which was checked in uh, to an airline and then when uh, it was time to collect the luggage at the carousel uh, the person knew when it's time to go and collect luggage because iBeacon sent out a message to his phone saying that hey your luggage is now at the carousel so you can check it out so there are a lot of opportunities for retails and also other just like uh, example I gave about carousel uh, for iBeacons to shine and in this we are going to get started with iBeacons. Now um, for iBeacons and the general purpose of the iBeacons is that you will have some hardware devices that you can hook up in the different parts of the store. All iOS 7 running iOS 7 devices are actually iBeacons and also you can create your Mac as an iBeacon because they uh, talk over the Bluetooth 4.0. So how we can do that? Uh, let me actually show you. Now this Mac has a Bluetooth 4.0. Now if you need to check that if your Mac is compatible or if your Mac can act as an iBeacon then uh, let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to share an app over here. Here we go. So the app is called uh, Mac Tracker, and it's a free app. And this will actually tell you that uh, different MacBook uh, what they run. So I'm just going to go into a MacBook Pro, um, and I'm just going to go. Okay, let's go over here to 13 inch 2010. Now if I scroll down. Um, here we go. So you can see the Bluetooth over here. It says built-in Bluetooth 2.1. So I'm not sure. I don't think that this will support the the uh, it, this computer or this laptop can act as an iBeacon. But if you scroll down to the latest ones, let's see. I'm just gonna say this guy over here, MacBook Pro Retina 15 inch, mid 2012, and I'm just gonna scroll down. And here we go. You can say it says Bluetooth 4.0. So this is a Mac that I'm running on, so I'm not 100% sure that, okay, this Mac can act as an iBeacon. So that's good for me, right? I'm just going to go ahead and stop the sharing for right now, okay? So that's good. Now, how can my Mac act as an iBeacon? So let's go over here, and I downloaded an app. Um, downloads, show in Finder over here. And here we go. So the app is called over here, Mac Act as iBeacon or whatever. Let's run it. Close this guy, close this guy. So here we go. So right now, my Mac can act as an iBeacon. Uh, this is the UUID, which will represent that uh, this is a beacon I'm talking to, okay? The major version and the minor version. So this is but you can uh, distinguish it for, uh, let's say that you have stores, you, you are owner of retail stores, okay, and a particular store will send out this ID, the major version can separate that, okay, this, uh, this store is in Seattle, or number, if I say number six over here, this, that will be in uh, somewhere in Utah, and the minor version can be uh, the, okay, this is the uh, aisle number 15, or this is the aisle number 32, or section number this and that. So you can fine tune it using that. So I can start broadcasting it. So now it's broadcasting right now, okay? Let's not do that right now. 
I am going to move it in a different place. So iBeacon uh, works with uh, the CL Location Manager. Okay, so and there are some indoor kind of events that you can subscribe to. Uh, this is our basically our user interface. You can see there's nothing much going on over here. Um, the only purpose or the only thing that we are going to do is that we're going to display far, near, immediate if our ID can or if our uh, the the phone will be near the, the laptop which is acting as an eye beacon okay so i'm all, all already doing that i'm already saying cl location manager delegate which means that now i can access to some of the events that are thrown from the cl location manager uh, the manager delegate the uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that we have uh, let me actually move it over here so that you will have an idea of what I'm talking about. So you can see that there are some region events over here. Monitor did fail. Then you have did start monitoring for region. That's an interesting and an important event. Um, and then you have some other did update locations. Uh, did range beacons. Um, okay. And so let's go ahead and Go ahead with did start monitoring with region okay so you can see that this basically uh, when the new region is being monitored so this is fired that way so let's actually go ahead and utilize first let's let's cl beacon region so basically first we are going to do we're going to do is uh, create the region And you can see this one we are going to use, but before we use that, I'm just going to say U, UID and uh, identifier. This is what we are creating with string. Now I'm actually hard coding this and we are going to be listening for a certain uh, beacon. So this is the beacon we are going to be listening to. I'm just going to copy it and paste it over here. All right, and then provide the identifier over here. Or actually, it should be called UUID, and we can simply call this UUID. Uh, the major version, as you can see over here, is five, and minor version is 1000. So we are going to use those values. So major version is five, and this is 1000. The identifier can be anything, uh, that's just a name. So you, I can say over here, Azam's MacBook Pro, okay? And that's pretty much what you do. So now we can say, oh, we have to build the CL, the location manager, which is not here. So let's go ahead and do that. Property uh, CL location manager, location manager. Right. Now we can go ahead and create that self dot location manager. So this will allow us to give the directions and all that stuff, or the good stuff about the uh, I beacons. So here we go. So we are going to say over here, uh, start monitoring for region, and then start ranging beacons in region. This is basically, it will start a delivery of notification for uh, for Beacon. So this will kind of like set it up, all right? So we are going to provide over here, this guy over here, and location manager, and then start uh, we already did that. Start monitoring for region is this guy over here. So now we are going to monitor for the region. Now there are many different events that you can use right um, so let's go over here so we have did update locations we have pause location update location did determine did start monitoring for region did range region responding to the range event responding to the region events uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do like this tell that the new region is being monitored Okay, that's not the one that I am looking for. 
Where is the one with the beacons? Um, let's see. Let's search for beacon. Here we go. Did range beacons. And then you have the fail event. So this is the ones that uh, once your beacons are in range, so these events are going to get fired. And these are the ones that we are actually interested in. All right. So let's go ahead and say over here, did range beacons. Let's go ahead and run it or build it. Everything looks okay at this point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and run it on my iPhone. All right. Let's see. And basically what I'm also going to say is mirror so you can see what's going on. So right now nothing really is going on, right? Um, let's go ahead and start broadcasting this. Okay. Let's see if something happens at this particular point. Oops. All right. Nothing really happening at this point either. Um, it's weird. All right, let's move this over here. See if we are doing everything. Start arranging, start monitoring. Uh, and then this will, of course. So nothing is being fired right now. Um, all right, let me stop this app and then run it again. weird all right let's see self thought station manager start ranging in region start monitoring for region um, 1000 and then the UUID is correct. Oops, uh, self dot location manager dot delegate equal to self. Don't forget to do that, all right? Or else none of the, uh, none of the, the methods will be fired. So we're running the app and here we go. So it's actually now firing did range beacons. Sorry about that. Uh, so here we go, it's all right. So, but it's still we don't really know that if there are beacons involved or not, all right? So let's go ahead and print out the count. Uh, so let's go ahead and say this guy over here and beacons.count. It should give us at least one because I am near my MacBook computer. So it should return uh, one. But it's returning, there we go. So finally found it. So it's now returning one, which means that, okay, we do have a... Uh, you know we do have uh, a beacon and of course we don't have like a, any like a commercial beacon it's just our macbook that is serving as a beacon which is this guy so let's say if i say stop broadcasting i wonder how long does it take to to say that uh, you know that there are no beacons here we go so it took a little, a little bit of seconds like maybe five seconds or something and I'm just gonna stop broadcasting now. So now my MacBook is again serving as a beacon. And you can see that the one is being returned at this point. Pretty cool, I'm just gonna turn it on and stay, make it stay on uh, till, till we're done this, basically with this screencast, all right? All right, so what other things we can do is we can find out the proximity how far or how close these beacons are all right and uh, so we have beacons over here CL beacon 
and let's get a beacon. Basically, first I think I should check that if there are beacons over here. So beacon.count is greater than zero, only then you should do this. CL beacon, we found a beacon, uh, and then beacons uh, of zero. Because there's only one beacon, I can say that, right? If you have multiple beacons, then maybe you need to see what beacon you want to connect to. Um, and then we can say over here, self dot uh, message label, text equal to uh, name for, oops, self, name for proximity, and then beacon dot proximity. So we can find that, we can invoke that and find it out. Let's go ahead and run it. Now I'm just going to try to share this. There we go. Interesting. Says unknown for some reason. Here we go. Immediate. Now immediate means that I'm very close to the the. Uh, I don't know why it says unknown, but it should say at least uh, near or immediate, which means that I'm very very close to uh, to the eye beacon. Okay. Now let me do one thing. Well, I don't know if I can actually even do that. Let me unplug this. I'm just going to unplug it. Okay, that's not good. All right, that's okay. Um, what I am going to do, this is still being recorded, so let's go ahead and say run this, and it says immediate and unknown and all that. Now, if I'm going to walk away, I'm just going to walk away, and you might not actually hear me, uh, but I still have the iPhone, so hopefully it will say far, okay? So I'm just going to walk away. You might not hear my sound or voice, but I'm walking away right now, all right? All right, so I can see over there from the different room that it eventually set far. So I'm now I'm coming near and here we go, so it's near. So you can see that iBeacon, it, it works nicely. I'm not sure why it says uh, uh, unknown. Uh, it shouldn't say unknown, but immediate means that I'm very, very near and near and immediate kind of uh, fluctuate all the time. I'm not sure why, but, but this is it. I mean, this is a pretty cool technology. And if you are running a MacBook, uh, you know, the one that supports acting as a iBeacon, then you can download the app it's called mac access beacon and you can just uh, play it around with that and you will find out that it's you know it works uh, it, it works pretty pretty decent um but of course for the final testing it's always a good idea if you buy some ibeacons devices and uh, and i'm going to uh, going to actually create a another video which shows and how you can uh, configure with those devices okay so that's pretty much it i hope you like this video uh, i wanted to uh, be as practical as uh, as possible so that's why i actually stepped out of the room and went to a different room so that you can see that it's going to say far okay and it did say far at one point right uh, and that's pretty much it so i i hope you like this video thank you very much and once again uh, i greatly appreciate if you are can donate because this channel is all about donation, this channel runs by donation, and I sincerely thank all the people who have donated to this particular channel. But if you, uh, I mean, you can even imagine, I mean, how much time and effort it takes to create these videos and host these videos on YouTube and to publish these videos. Uh, PayPal, uh, at our, so you can send out the payments to arvinsharp at gmail.com. Um, thank you very much, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much.